Hey everybody! So what is the difference between escrow and title and why does it matter? It was The reason this came up is because I was talking to Caitlin and we were talking about how in California we actually have three different types of escrow and title processes. That also came up because I was talking to a client who lives back east and they don't even have an escrow process. They actually have what's called a table funding process and so as I was explaining what happens in California, they're like, wow, this is totally different than what I where, from where I come from. So escrow happens to do with the money. They are the ones that will collect the funds from the buyer and they will determine how much is needing to be paid off on a loan for the seller and they do all of the accounting and balances of it. They're an impartial third party and they will absolutely not do anything unless everybody is in agreement on what should be done. So escrow is the facilitator of making certain that the contract is adhered to and that the money is handled appropriately. So from a buyer's standpoint, usually when you make a contract on a home, you're going to write a check and that's what's going to be considered good faith funds as your intent to purchase the property. That check is going to go into the escrow account and it's going to be held until the time it is where you're actually going to close and purchase the property. That money is not something that goes automatically to the owner. As a matter of fact, it will be used for the down payment, for the closing fees, or for any of the other fees that might be associated with the purchase of a property. So your escrow check or escrow deposit or good faith deposit is just held in the escrow account as sort of a savings, a pre-savings that's going to be applied to whatever it is that's going to cost you to purchase that home. If you're doing the zero down payment loans or if you're doing the VA loans, that would be at the end returned to you because you're not going to use that money. You're just giving it as a deposit, but it's not money given to the seller. It's given back to you for our zero down payment and our VA loans. So hopefully that explains what escrow is a little bit more and why you should know that when you're giving that money up front, it's not going to the seller. It's going to that company to hold as your good faith. So there's that. This is how it goes. Title, on the other hand, is actually where they research the title and make sure that if there was ever anything recorded against the property, that you are fully aware of what that happens to be, and also make certain that if there's anything that is what's called an encumbrance, meaning that somebody else has rights to the property or potentially a loan on the property, that that's going to be paid off and taken care of through the escrow. So they sort of work hand in hand with each other, but they have two very different responsibilities. The, some of the things that are important with the title is to make certain that if there is anything reported or recorded against it, that that is actually satisfied. So an example might be, believe it or not, a boat title could actually be recorded against escrow if somebody had a, a boat and hadn't paid their boat fees. I would never think that a house would have anything to do with the boat, but hey, I've seen it. The other thing that it will do is title will tell you what kind of easements are on there. It could be an easement having to do with a power line. It could have to do with an easement having to do with the telephone lines. It could even have an easement to do where somebody has the rights to cross your property to go to their property. All of that will be explained in the title report. So this is called Krista. Hey, nice to see you joining us. But this is called Krista, OIC Real Estate Services, and we are here to help you see your dreams come true. Escrow and title, very important when purchasing a home and when selling a home. And it's very important that you take the time to read it and understand it. We're here to help you. So, as always, have an amazingly blessed day.